And to finalise the last few bit of my contract, so I'm signing a new contract till 2026. And I've got a meeting with the manager just to speak about a few things. Well, no. So, uh, obviously, just a wee opportunity to get, get you in and, 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 and speak to you, Inc. first and foremost. We've not spent a, a lot of time since the injury, so mm. uh, how are you feeling? I was obviously disappointed when it happened, but it's one of these things that needs to happen. So, and it's a positive, not a positive injury, but it could have been a lot worse. Yeah. So you've got to look at these wee positives and you know, just time to put the head down and work hard. But I think another thing, Lennon, probably from my side of things in, in these situations, exactly what you've said there, it's always a positive. Mm -hmm. um, as much as the negative of the injury and you can't play for the, for the foreseeable future, um, it gives you an opportunity to become a better athlete, doesn't yeah. it? It gives you an opportunity to work harder in the gym when sometimes uh, you're, you're solely focused on playing on the pitch. Mm -hmm. So I think you have to take that side of it. I think your mentality has been absolutely brilliant since it happened. Um, now we know what we're dealing with and, and, and I just think that you, you just look at that time scale now just to, just to yeah. work through it. I think most importantly, as much as I'm checking on you and I want to see how you are and want to see how you're feeling, I think most importantly, it, it probably becomes a good day for us, doesn't it? Well, yeah. It certainly does for me. I've got a smile on my face um, and, and I can see that with you. Uh, the fact that you've agreed to, to sign a new contract. And again, I know you and I haven't spoke heaps about it, which is right, in, in my opinion, with your age. Um, but I think that, you know that idea, speaking to your family and your representatives to make sure that what happens next is, is right for you. And listen, we're absolutely delighted that we get the opportunity at some point today to announce your, your contract extension and I think that that just sets up and it tees up that, that, that next chapter of your career for you. You understand that it's going to be here um, and you understand that you, you get that opportunity just to kick on from all the good milestones but as I say try and increase that and, and ultimately we know you want to try and further your career and better your career. Yeah, I'm happy here at the minute and I'm playing football, I'm playing first team football. <clears throat> it's what I've wanted to do since I was a young boy and thanks to you for giving me the opportunity but no, it's been good. I'm not going to give you any more game time just for being a brown noser. <clears throat> but no, listen, it's very easy now that lads have had a thousand minutes and 13 starts, whatever it's been for us. I think it's very easy in the modern game that they always think that that, that, that next chapter or that next step's there you know, within yeah. the next six months or the next six games. And they're always looking for something different, but there's an old saying, isn't there, that the grass isn't always green on the other side. And it's important that you're in a place where you get a chance to develop and you get a chance to play. You can only develop by playing. Um, and I think that's where we're especially happy to be able to announce that, as we will do today. Um, but for me, another example to the modern player, the young player, that you know you can't, you can't always be too eager to get that next opportunity. I think those things come naturally when you're doing good things. And, Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely delighted where you are as a, an individual, as a player, but as a person as well. So um, can't wait to get that announced today and it's a, it's a proper feel-good factor for, for the football club. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 So I've extended my stay here at Mallow till 2026. Just really looking forward to the time ahead and hopefully more minutes on the pitch. Been in talks for a while, but I've just been focusing on my football and that's been that's been in the background, chipping away for a while. But I'm just really happy to get it signed. I want to stay here. They've been so good to me since I was a wee boy and to give me my first team opportunity. It's been I've been really grateful to this club and as I said, I've been really happy here and I'm playing football and that's what I want to do. First of all, I need to be happy. Yeah, I need to want to be here. and Luckily, I do want to be here. And secondly, you want to play football. And I've been lucky that I've got my chance this season. And it helps me. There's no talking in the background. It's just me concentrating on my football and getting back to, back from injury. And you know, it's good to know where you're going to be in the next wee while. It's a nice feeling knowing that you're wanted by the club. And the manager showed his faith in me and playing me. And for him to want to keep me here, is, you know, it's a really good feeling. And the club have been fantastic for me on a personal level and on a football terms level. They've given me my first team debut, they've, they've given me this, this part of the season that I've started games at such a young age and the fans have really appreciated the, the love for the fans and you know, it's been really good. Yeah, brilliant to see you all, fantastic, absolutely delighted to, to get you in.
run taken by Aberdeen there. Miofsky is caught by Lennon Miller and that will be a foul. Paul McGinn there catching Jack McKenzie there just blindsided slightly and Lennon Miller has gone down holding his bit concern here from Otherwell Lennon Miller going down and I think he's been holding about for the last five minutes he played a couple of passes and he looked uncomfortable in his running style so whether it's been a clash of knees or a little knock I think I'm trying to think back there was something around the halfway line it was a clash of knees in the first half and I felt a really sharp pain in my knee and I tried to play on, I tried to play through it but then it got too much and I came off and then I came in the next day and it was all swollen and all bruised and then I went to get an MRI scan on the Friday and it turned out that I've fractured my patella. Probably adrenaline of being back in the team and playing football probably got me through that first wee bit and it just got too much for me. I told the physios what had happened to me and he thought the same, he thought it was just a bag of knees, I'd be fine, I'd get up. It was obviously tough for me, because I thought it was just a bag of knees and I'd be okay. Kind of strange situation for me because I've never really had a bad injury like this. And Because there was a lot of thoughts going through my head. Is it as bad as what I think it is or is it going to be okay? And Just a lot of thoughts going through my head. Luckily I've not been harmed with injuries when I was younger and this is the worst one I've had so far and my longest injury I've had has probably been two to three weeks. It's new to me, it's new to my family and you know, it is a big learning curve for me. So the short term is to get off the crutches and off the braces which especially said would be roughly three to four weeks and then hopefully to be back running by the eight week mark and then a couple of weeks back running and then hopefully training and playing in three months coming in here every day and seeing the boys going to training and me just going up to the gym and it's obviously frustrating but the boys need to do what they need to do and hopefully the results start coming on Saturday. An arm raised by Spittle, delivery. Cleared away by De Lucas, nobody there for Motherwell to attack it. Bruce Anderson can take it under control. And then skips past two Motherwell men, and Livingston now breaks forward with Daniel Mackay. Mackay pulling forward, and was it caught there by Lennon Miller? And it's a red card for Lennon Miller. 17 year old is sent off for Motherwell. Getting the red card, obviously, it happens to most people, and for it to happen to me so young, probably been a good thing, because I've learned to deal with it so young and, and now this injury, it's, I know these things happen to players and I know I've been lucky, it's not been too bad, but no, I've learned massive things about myself. A big change for me is I'm used to playing like under 18 boys my age, to playing men's football and to playing like your Celtics, your Rangers, the, the tempo, everything just cranks up a wee bit and no, it's been really enjoyable for me. I've tried to take it all into my stride and just try to work as hard as I can in the training ground to get better on a Saturday. With two senior players beside me, it was, no, it was really nice to have their backing and to play well with it. They've obviously got loads, loads of experiences and been through a lot of things in football and they're passing them on to me and no, I'm very thankful for them. Hopefully the team starts playing well and then I need to fight for my place back, but hopefully just to get back into the team. <laughs>